Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving time dilation. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that a rocket ship travels at a constant speed of 0.8 C, so that's 0.8 times the speed of light relative to the Earth. A clock on the rocket ship records a journey time of 4.8 hours. Part A says, what would the flight time be when measured by a clock on Earth? Well, what we're really asked for in part A is the relativistic time, which is T dash or T prime, because we're told in the question that a clock on board the rocket ship, which is in the same frame of reference as the moving object, records a time of 4.8 hours. So that's gonna be your proper time. So what we need to do is write down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find what T dash or T prime is. We know that t is equal to 4.8 hours, and we know that v is equal to 0.8c. Now I'm going to leave it as 0.8c because we're about to see that when we plug that in to our equation, the c values will actually just cancel. So we can write down our equation for time dilation, which is t dash equals t divided by the square root of 1 minus v over c squared. We then substitute in our numbers to get 4.8 divided by the square root of 1 minus 0.8c divided by c. Now notice that because we kept this in the form 0.8c, the c values there on the top and bottom of the fraction will just cancel out. So that will actually simplify things a bit for us there. And then if you put that into your calculator where you have the square root of the 1 minus 0.8 squared term, then you should get an answer of 8 hours. Part B says to explain what is meant by time dilation. So this is a definition straight from the notes. Well, remember, time dilation is the apparent slowing down of a clock that is moving relative to an observer. Another way you could describe that is the apparent increase in time. Question two says that a spacecraft is traveling at a speed of 2.2 times 10 to the eight meters per second. The spacecraft emits a pulse of light that lasts for 5.8 times 10 to the minus five seconds, according to a stationary observer on Earth. What is the duration of the pulse according to an astronaut on board the spacecraft? Well, in this case, we're given the time as measured by an observer that is far away from the event that's happening. So they're going to measure the relativistic time t prime or t dash. And that means that in this question, we're asked to find the proper time t. So we can say t equals question mark. And we know the relativistic time t dash is 5.8 times 10 to the minus five seconds. We also know that the speed v is 2.2 times 10 to the eight meters per second. And the speed of light c is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. Notice that because we're not given the speed v in terms of c here, that I've just put in the speed of light c because we're going to have to put in the actual values here into our equation. So writing down our equation for time dilation, we have t dash equals t divided by the square root of one minus v over c squared. Substituting in the numbers, we get 5.8 times 10 to the minus five equals t divided by the square root of one minus 2.2 times 10 to the eight over three times 10 to the eight squared. So then what we can do to get t on its own is cross multiply, i.e. multiply this term on the left by this square root term. So I would do this one first in your calculator and then multiply it by this. And if you do that, it should simplify to t equals 5.8 times 10 to the minus five times 0.68. So this square rooted term should simplify to 0.68 and then putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.9 times 10 to the minus five seconds. And a quick check to see if this answer is reasonable is that this value of proper time should be smaller than the relativistic time t dash, and that is the case here. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.